hi guys welcome back to another video so today I'm going to be trying out the white pigment from magpie called baby to do a baby boomer so you're literally gonna see whether I succeed or fail on this one because I haven't tried it at all um, this is the first time so might be a bad idea but we'll see so to start off with I've got a layer of rubber up um, a layer of give me strength peach and then I've also got a top coat the um, don't be tacky so I've already got that on my nails and then I've got a coat of the hollow taco base coat the peel off one um, I did do a review on this last week so if you want to go check that out see how it works I'll link the video in the description box for you so this has been on for a few minutes I'm just gonna let it dry a bit more yeah, that's good. So we're gonna go in with two coats of Good Golly Miss Molly. And then I'll fast forward this so you're not bored because you've seen me do this quite a few times. And then I'll be back to go through the next step. Okay, so now I've removed the tacky layer, I've seen it's best to go in with a matte top coat. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to be honest, these aren't the neatest nails I've ever done. I think because of the peel off base coat, when I'm shaking my, my um, hand to sort of dry it, it's, it's not as neat. So you can see here it's sort of run into the cuticles a bit. Um, and just how it's dried it's fine like they'll look okay but it's just not I just want to get it out there it's not the neatest I've ever done I'm aware <laughs> so yeah I'm just going to go in with this matte top coat so these are just finishing up curing the matte top coat and then um, we have to go in again with prep and dehydrate or IPA or alcohol or whatever you've got. So I'll quickly do that. And then I want to try out a few different techniques. Um, I've seen quite a few videos of people trying out this baby pigment. And I just want to try out a few different ways, see if they end up with the same result or if one way is better than the other or whatever so we'll see oh they actually look really nice just matte oh how gorgeous do they look anyway so i'm gonna go in with baby i have got glitter from my last set all over the table so i'm hoping i don't get any of that in it so that's what it looks like in the pot right so i'm gonna go in with the magpie glitter applicator brush so i'm just gonna go in for it I'm going to use the lid so there isn't loads on and I'm just going to coat the brush in it like that and I'm just going to start off at the edge and just sort of dab it in make sure it's nice and pigmented how I want it I quite like where the, there's more pink than um, white I know some people like it where it goes right down and we might end up like that because I don't know how these are going to turn out, but we'll see. So I'm just going to put about that much on the tip. And then I'm going to get just a dry, lint-free pad and get off the excess. So when I blend it, there's not that much on the brush. It's just sort of using what's left on this nail. And what technique should I go with? I'm just going to go with the side to side. So I'm just going to go buff it lightly. Mm, no, not happy with that. That does actually look quite pigmented, so that's okay. We'll just get off the ma majority of it again. I didn't realise it was that pigmented. Okay, so then I'm just going to dab it instead and just try and blend that line a bit more. Because it, it does look like, I think the camera shows up even more. It looks quite harsh. So I'm just going to blend that. I'm using really light dabs. 
think that's too bad for a first attempt. It does go down further than I would have liked, but that's because I didn't realise how pigmented it was. So let's try it on the next hand. I think the dab in one probably is the way to go. I was going to try and do it like, you know, when they do with acrylic and then they turn their brush around and sort of blend it down. But I think because this, this um, pigment, well, it's sort of in the name, isn't it? It's so pigmented that I think it's just going to turn the whole nail white and you're not going to see much of that pink. So get off again, majority of the excess. And then I'm just going to try and blend that line by just doing really light dab, sort of pushing it back a little bit. Let's try it actually. I'm not going to bring it all the way down the nail. I'm just going to lightly tease it down. I quite like that actually. That works. Because like I said, I do prefer, I like it really white at the tip, really pink at the bottom, and then the blend sort of about here. I don't really like it too far down the nail. So you can still see a little bit of a line, so I'm going to pick up a tiny bit more and just put it there. Oh, I think I've ruined it. Let's get rid of the excess. Oh, so what have you done? Oh well, we're going with the blend a bit further down now. It is nice to work with though, it, it does blend out really easily, it's just... If you're trying to add more, you really need the tiniest little bit because otherwise it does pick up a lot of pigment. Oh, missed a bit there. Oh, I think I missed that with the top coat. I've been a bit slapdash with these, so <laughs> it's probably my own fault. Well, that's quite nice actually. Ignore that little bit there where I've missed it with a top coat. It looks really smooth. Okay, let's try again on the next nail. Pick up a bit. I think that's going to be a bit much. Really don't need a lot of this stuff. I'm going to try to do it reverse way. So I'm going to put it on like this. And just brush it down a bit. Oh, I like that. That looks good. Very, very subtle, but can you see the difference between that one where it's like majority white and then this one where it's just at the end and then it blends down and there's more pink. I like that. Oh, that's really nice. And let's be honest, with ombres, they're never all going to look the same anyway. But as long as you get that blend and there's no harsh lines, I don't think it's really that noticeable. So I just put on a bit, I like the reverse way actually, so I put it on with my brush that way and I was really hardly touching it, just pulling that pigment down where that line is, where it's stopped, just really gently, oh god I've missed it again, oh, I'm hopeless at this, <laughs> let's see if it will stick without, okay if we can bodge it, we'll sort that out, but yeah, just keep wipe, wiping off the excess. I'm going to have to redo that thumb because that looks horrendous. And then just really gently sort of pat it in at the edge so it's stuck there. And then just really gently just pull it back. Oh, they look so nice. I'm so glad they've brought out this pigment because I've been wanting to do ombres for ages. And some of my friends, like they keep saying, oh, can you do an ombre and I'll just wimp out because I'm like, no, I don't think I can do it with gel. I know you can do it, but it just seems like such a long process with so many layers and I just know I'll end up making it look really bulky and rubbish. So when they brought out this pigment, I was so happy. And just really gently. Sorry, it's focusing on my, my thumb, isn't it? Really gently push it back. I'm really sorry about these bits. That's totally me just not focusing on my application at all. I think they look nice. I'm going to go in with a bit more. Because although I like it mostly pink, that one did need a bit more. So just sort of dab it in so the end is really concentrated. 
and just really lightly pull it back where that line is. I hope this is coming across on camera. And then you can put a bit more pressure on and just dab it to make that line a bit a bit less harsh. How quick and easy was that? They're so classy, aren't they? I do love an ombre. I've still got a bit of a harsh line though, so I might just pat that. That might have something to do with my application, to be honest, because it isn't the best. Sorry, it keeps focusing on my thumb. It's because it's so glittery. That's better. Now this one needs a bit more. It's all trial and error, I suppose. For a first go, I'm quite happy with that. They're passable. <laughs> but that pigment is so... And I've used, like, you can see in the lid there, I've hardly used any, so this is gonna... I don't think I'll ever run out of this. Even if I do ombres 10 times a day for the next 10 years, I don't see how I'm gonna be get through that whole pot. And it was only... I think it was 4 95 so considering I probably won't ever have to buy it again that is such a bargain and the quality is amazing you saw how pigmented it was especially on that first one where I well overdone it but I mean some people might like that look going a bit further down I don't so let's see what it's like if we do make a boo-boo if it comes off easy so I'm just using a bit of prep and dehydrate yeah Oh good, so that comes off so easily as well. I really like them ones. It's just a really nice subtle, you can see all this glitter here, sorry. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I just think there's nothing classier than an ombre. I think I'm definitely gonna do these at my wedding, which is next year. I'm so excited. Hopefully we'll actually be able to have a normal wedding. I feel so sorry for the people who have had weddings this year and last year, it's, it must be the most heartbreaking thing. My friend's weddings this year um, in July well we've got two we've got a friend in June and a friend in July so I'm really hoping that they can have the wedding that they want I've got everything crossed so yeah as I was saying I was gonna go and get my nails done for my wedding but I think with how easy this is as long as I take a bit more time with the application I might just do them myself Right, so that's all concentrated at the end now. I'll wipe off all the excess. And just really gently pull it back. Sorry about the focus again. And now I'm gonna dab it because I don't want it to come down much further than that. And as I'm dabbing, I'm sort of pushing it into the brush and. Um, push oh god how do I explain this I'm sort of putting pressure on the concentrated bit of white and sort of pushing it at the same time as dabbing it so it's very gently just nudging that down a bit and getting rid of that harsh line that's a lot better it's still not perfect but that's a lot better I'm going with a little bit more make that end a bit more concentrated That's better. Still a bit of a harsh line. Let's try and get rid of that. I'm gonna go back and forth. Again, I this is so gentle, I can't get across how gentle it is. I'm putting hardly any pressure on, but it's just because the powder is so fine, you will only need the lightest of touches to move it. That end bit's really annoying, but I think that's where again I haven't I haven't done the application that great that blend is a lot better that took what 10 minutes and I've been chatting for a lot of it but if you were doing this in a set you could literally do all the ends get all the white on the ends brush off the excess and just go along you could do that in like a minute two minutes I'm really impressed with that so then what you do I'm gonna put the lid on otherwise oh, I don't want to end up getting that everywhere then you want to go in with Give Me Strength or just a clear, any clear like builder gel you've got. Go in with this. I think I've got glitter in it. 
I'm just going to do a nice generous floaty layer. I think this will help with the the line as well. Everything always looks better when you put a clear coat over the top. It's so subtle but that is lovely. I think I've got a bit of pigment there. Yeah, and you can see I've got a bit of pigment on that brush so I actually let me just get another lint free pad I think you're better off to do it in one go let's try it on my thumb so if I start here not my thumb what we're talking about my pointer finger it's so getting a nice floaty layer and going all the way down that didn't cover the whole thing did it I'll try and get a bit more And before you go back in just make sure there's no pigment on the brush because then that's going to go on the pink and then that's just going to ruin it i think we're good Okay, so they're now top coated like I said it's such a subtle ombre but that's how I like it so they're lovely I'm so happy with them again I'm sorry about the crap application of the color underneath but I'm just doing loads of design I'm getting carried away really because I've got this peel off base coat and I just want to do loads of designs I'm doing it so quickly that I need to slow down and take care of them a bit more but that pigment is great I I don't see how you can say no to something that's less than five pound and gives you that result so go and get yourself some of this highly highly recommend and I can't wait to use it more so thanks for watching this video I hope you liked it if you did give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in the next one bye